Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So, a question I get asked time and time again on this YouTube channel, on the comment section, on so many different videos, is why do you never wear a shirt? And my response to people time and time again is, what is a shirt? I don't know what a shirt is. Is this some sort of foreign object that comes from outer space? Because I am not aware of what a shirt is. So I just get really confused when people ask me this question. So, yeah. Not sure why I don't wear a shirt because I don't know what a shirt is. Obviously, I'm joking. They, I do say that to them, but I'm obviously messing around them and I want to have a bit of fun with you in this video because that's just the type of mood that I am in. So, the answer to that question is very simple and a lot of people may think it's just because I'm egotistical and because I just want to show off my body because I have a very visible six pack and a lot of other different opinions that are projected onto me time and time again from people that watch my videos and talk to me in the comment section about why they believe that I'm not wearing a top. And the reason is, since I've been in Thailand, which I've lived here for around four years now, before I even had this body, when I had like no muscle development, when I was about 10 kilos lighter, and if you haven't seen my year transformation video, you wanna see what I looked like before, and compare it to what I look like now. I'll put a link for up above. I highly recommend check that out. It's a very inspiring and motivating video for many different people from what they've said to me in the comments section on that video. And yeah, it is because it is so hot in Thailand. And I'm obviously not a female. A female cannot wear no bra and no top because that's just not socially acceptable and people will freak out. So it's completely understandable why females don't do that. So most of the time, I do not wear a shirt in Thailand due to that reason. I don't never wear a shirt whatsoever. When I go in to restaurants, I always wear a top and in shopping malls and in airports or to do visa runs at embassies and various other places, I will put a shirt on to be respectful because yeah, I will say that not every Thai person likes people having a top off. Some Thai people get triggered by it and some won't. And what I've noticed is if you're in a big busy city like Bangkok or Chiang Mai, people tend to care more. But if you're in a place such as Koh Samui or Koh Phangan, which is one of Thailand's, they do not seem to care what's within them. Police don't care. So it varies from place to place where you're in Thailand, whether it's more acceptable or not. So I like to be respectful of people, especially in going to certain different places and certain buildings and various other things as well. So yeah, it just makes complete sense to me as to why I don't wear a top because yeah, it's really, really, really hot here, especially in the daytime and wearing a t-shirt just makes me sweat so much and it's just way more intense for me to be outside. So it's easier for my body to cool itself down and when I'm driving around on a scooter, I feel that cool breeze over my whole entire body which cools me down which just makes me have a more enjoyable experience whilst I'm outside in my day-to-day -day life. I want you to hear from people time and time again that come to Thailand that are Westerners that they just find the heat overbearing. So that's why a lot of people that come to Thailand will either come when it's more of the winter season when it's cooler, but it's still quite hot, but obviously nowhere near as hot in the summer, or they will stay in their house during the peak heat times within the day and have air con on and then if they're driving around in a car they have the air con in and they go to a lot of places to have air con as well which is completely understandable but for me not wearing a top it's of no issues to go outside and another factor which is a huge one is having my skin exposed as much as possible is getting way more of the sun on my body which is key for my body to produce vitamin d which is actually not a vitamin it's actually a hormone that is produced by the body when sunlight goes on it and hours after the sunlight has been on you, your body starts to produce vitamin D. And so many people are vitamin D deficient, even in hot countries such as Thailand. It's very obvious why so many people in colder climates such as Canada and England where it's cold most of the months of the year because people are obviously getting way less sun exposure throughout the year. But even in Thailand, I notice it Almost every Thai person, even when it's really hot, they're wearing trousers, a top with long sleeves, and they cover up everything on their body. And I'll tell you exactly why. And yeah, if they want to do it, it's absolutely fine. I have no judgment on this. 
It is seen in Thailand if you have really a dark skin as a Thai person, which they naturally should, that you are someone that works outside a lot and you are someone that is a very poor and they see it as a poverty thing. But they see people with white skin as rich people because Westerners are seen as rich people, which is quite a crazy thing, but yeah, each to their own and they can do what they want. But that's just something that I wanted to share with you as to why so many people even in Thailand are vitamin D deficient. And having a vitamin D deficiency has a negative effect on sleep, testosterone production, other hormone production, your health holistically within your mind and body. And this is why so many people, especially in countries that have way less sunlight hours and summer seasons are way shorter, the higher the rates are of depression and other mental health disorders. So for us to feel the best that we can feel and optimize our longevity and health holistically, you want as much sun exposure on your skin as you possibly can. Obviously not staying out too long so you burn yourself because obviously that's not a good thing, but going out there in the sun with as much of your skin exposed as often as possible without burning yourself is just a really, really good thing. And my number one priority is health. So these two reasons are the two main reasons as to why I do not wear a shirt the majority of the time. And something I wanna mention is, the times that I do go outside and I'm wearing a shirt, I make sure I wear a shirt that is not made from plastic because most clothing is made from plastic. And then by you going outside, and your clothing heating up that is made from different types of plastic, it is then releasing certain toxic substances from that, which you then breathe in and your body is absorbing into its skin. And that has a negative effect on your hormone production and your health holistically as well, just like a vitamin D deficiency. So I always make sure when I'm out and about that I am wearing a t-shirt, I was just trying to look for one, but I've just put them all in the wash that is not made from synthetic plastic material. I make sure it's either 100% cotton or hemp or some other natural material. So when I am out and about, I'm not getting those negative effects that I would from wearing plastic made clothing. And at the moment, I'm wearing my top a lot less than what I normally would in Chiang Mai, Thailand, where I'm currently living at the moment well just staying temporarily i'm going to bangkok thailand tomorrow for two days and a few other places is because i'm getting some new tattoos done this is not finished yet but this is a dot work mandala we've still got a lot of color to fill in and this which i can't really show very well because i can't bend it that much but it's a lion tattoo <laughs> i look a bit funny trying to move my arm around so like i've broken it or injured it feels like i've done some bicep training so to speak so yeah i'm just trying to let the air get to it as much as possible so it can heal quicker and obviously having clothing on it as well is just making it feel a lot more painful during the healing process. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to critique me on and anything that I speak about in this video, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think wants to hear about why I do not wear a shirt the majority of the time whilst here in Thailand. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and type of videos you can expect to get from me. Our videos just about my life and my own journey with many different things such as intermittent fasting and my diet and training and other various things. And also informational videos on weight loss, intermittent fasting, dry fasting, water fasting, calisthenics, calisthenics, workout and progression videos and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and teach the right information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Like I have managed to gain and obtain and many other people that have followed my information and put it into place consistently to get the same results. If this type of video sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.